I cannot believe these horse flies. Look at the size of that sucker. Oh, now he's on me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they bite, man. Look at that. They, they'll, man, get away from me. They, they, find a pine tree. they don't like pine trees? Nope. I didn't know that. Right there. Okay. <laughs> All right, we just made it back from McFerrin point we made it about three quarters of the way and uh, some pretty thick spots but we were able to stick with the trail most of the way and and not to do too bad so if you ever want to come here you come down the Irby Road past Hideout Hollow you can park there if you want to but we just parked back at Hi uh, Hideout Hollow come down and you see this little branch right here looks like an old uh greater parking spot I used to put a dozer or something and you just head on down that way not too bad all right we ready to go down to check out the bench trail okay all right so now we're heading down to find the bench trail so we'll see how that goes it's Part two, I guess. Now this is what this road looks like when it's been repaired. I wonder what it looked like before. Like yeah. And it's steep. Buffalo River's down there. Yeah, look. I wonder how long this is gonna last before it just gets washed out entirely. What they, can do. they would have to pump in so much money, you know, to maintain this in a really solid fashion. But you have to realize too, it is going downhill, so most of it's gonna go down the hill first. Yeah, oh yeah, I know. So? Oh yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. So it would take a lot longer than normal. This is pretty steep stuff right here tell some people were trying to come up it kind of skidding well they blocked it off because they were working on it but I mean you can tell there's already going to be see people yeah people trying to make it up this hill and they're spinning out and it's creating these ruts. I would think that this was the people working on it. Who well, yeah, I mean, it could be them doing it, but. I mean, if nobody's allowed to go down here. Right. I thought some of it's just or maybe some people just came up here not realizing it was closed. But. Well, if I came up and got up to the top, I'd be moving those things to get out. <laughs> That's probably what they did. Uh. It goes, the bench trail goes all the way to the Hemden Hollow Trail. Are we doing that or? No, we no, <laughs> no. We're just going down here. I, and I'm not even sure how far we w want to go. Depends on how overgrown it is. right let's just kind of see what we got here this is the power lines right out here this this is the trail may not be bad at all but i don't want to do the whole trail what i want to do there's a, a certain drainage down here i want to find i think it's like a mile and I want to find that drainage. See, horses and hikers only. So let's, this won't be bad at all. Do you think? Oh, it's okay so far, huh? Yeah, so far. But I've always wanted to see this side of the bench trail. So, oh, the spider webs, man. Golly. All right, cutting through the east 
end of the bench trail headed toward Hemden Hollow, but it's several miles away. But we're gonna go down to a certain drainage that I have marked on my GPS. I wanna see, I think there's a big waterfall there and I wanna see if it's there. But this is much better than what we just left. Much easier hiking. So, oh, okay, I gotta put the GoPro down. I'm just eating spider webs right now. Oh, there's one. Look at that sucker right there. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a poisonous snake right there. Okay, people, that's some sort of, I don't know, that's not a, uh, look at that head. Mm -hmm. That's a viper head. I don't know what kind of snake that is. That might be a rattler. I bet it is, baby rattler. It just hadn't, doesn't have any rattles yet, of course, but doesn't look like a copperhead, doesn't look like a water moccasin. I'm glad you saw it, because I didn't see it. Come on, little guy, hop the trail. Yeah, get him off the trail. But that is... <laughs> Pretty vicious. So is this damn horse fly. God. Where'd he go? Over there. Okay. Oh, good eye on that. <laughs> I was too busy looking at spider webs. I'm, I'm focused on spider webs, and if I see something big on the trail, like a snake, I didn't, couldn't see that size snake, though. The only reason I saw him is because he was moving. Really? I'm surprised I didn't step on him. Still making our way down the bench trail. Look at all those spiders up here. Oh, that huge one. Yeah, he's a big one. Step on him. No, I'm not gonna step on him. I'm gonna get him out of the way. Oh, he won't get on you. But I gotta keep knocking all these spider webs down. The humidity has increased. The sun's come up. Oh man. <laughs> Branch has my foot. Ah, okay. More spider webs. But right now, the main thing I'm annoyed with is these spider webs. They are just bad. I haven't been through a spider web patch like this in a long time. All right, put the pole out in front. Ah, oh, man. And then when they get on you, they just don't go off. They cling to you. I mean, it's not hard hiking through here. It's just annoying. I mean, this trail is flat. It's just annoying, these spider webs. Okay, what we got here? Make sure no critters. I don't have my glasses on, so I gotta swat the ground. Ugh. Ah, okay. Oh, well, we got off the bench trail a few minutes ago. And we walked up the Irby Road, which is almost straight up. And we're walking back now to Hideout Hollow parking lot. And we're gonna take a break there. And uh, then we're gonna hike into uh, Hideout Hollow Waterfall. It's an easy hike, it's a mile in, mile out. We went through the bench trail uh, we only went a mile in and it was overgrown a lot had to do a lot of spider web clearing but we got down to a drainage I wanted to check out I wanted to see how big it was it's a big one it's a big one but it's not I couldn't see very far up the 
drainage. So, but I was curious about the east end of the bench trail. I've never seen it, I've seen the west end. So now I have a better idea of what's out here. But anyway, that, that's all for now. The sun is behind the clouds. The humidity is kind of high and it's probably upper 70s, something like that. I'm not sure it's quite 80 yet, 80 degrees, but we're road walking and we're almost back there and then we're going to have lunch. So we will check in with you a little later.